Hey, what's up guys? Hey, so today we are doing an interesting idea, right? We want to see if we can find some elusive species of snakes up Cow Creek. And one of the ways we have come up with in order to do this is this right here. So uh, we're taking eight of these, uh, uh, what are they, about four by eights or whatever, and we're emplacing these uh, in the area where I live, and we're going to see if we can come up with uh, target species, uh, king snakes, but more importantly, we would like to find uh, mountain king snakes and rubber boas. Rubber boas do live here, but we haven't seen one in a very, very long time. I think my last time my dad seen one was like 15 years ago here. So we have eight of these and we're going to emplace them. So emplacing these things is not something that we can just, you know, go out and throw boards on the ground. We gotta be selective. Um, if it's somebody's property, private property, we definitely have to have permission. So we're gonna try to avoid private property altogether and find places that are just out in the open, um, timberland and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully, in a couple months, when the weather starts warming up, this will provide uh, some of those elusive species we're looking for. So here we have my nephew Bobby and the mighty, mighty, mighty Captain Wayne. All right, and we are going to emplace our first board, being board number eight. All right, and it's off the side of the road, completely out of view. All right, so we got a lot of good grass habitat right here, which also borders the trees. And we also have Cow Creek just, just behind the trees over there, about 20 feet or so. So in this spot right here, hopefully, uh, you know, cause it's still cold. Uh, today's what, the 16th of April. Uh, it'll give it a few months, you know, to kind of beat down the grass underneath it and allow animals to slowly start coming towards it. All right, and hopefully this will provide us some uh, fruits of our labor soon. So the second board that we've already emplaced is kind of up here on the side of this hill in a pretty good area, I suppose. Targeting, probably targeting king snakes here. I'm all out of breath because I just walked up here once. So this is board number seven. Right there. Woo. Had some good terrain. Good king snake territory. And here we have our third emplacement. This is labeled board number six. So we're we're in king snake territory. We're also in gopher snake territory. We're in basically everything territory here. So. Also poison oak territory. Ugh. Um, yeah, let's drop it down and see how, lay, see how flat it lays. I like that. Have a little um, lift to it. Like a little yeah, dude. Yeah. Right we'll just go ahead and leave that there. All right, so the third emplacement. Board number six. Once again, some really good habitat here. There's some dead logs all around already. All right, the other one was kind of open. This is under trees, so well, we only time will tell. So here we have our fourth installment here, board number five. Now you can see we're trying to uh, be diverse with the habitat that we're setting it in. So here we got a lot more young evergreen trees all right so there is no telling what we'll find here hopefully something either way board number five and placement number four so some of you watching this video might wonder what are we going to do with the snakes when we find them well we're definitely not keeping them um 
king snakes, mountain king snakes, rattlesnakes, they're actually put, protected in Oregon, according to uh, Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, right? All I want to know is how many are up here, right? How many can I find during one, you know, spring slash summer period? And uh, how many different species can we find? For example, the, uh, the mountain king snake does live in this area. Very, very difficult to find, rarely seen. We've only seen one actual mountain king snake uh, on the uh, Cow Creek Road leading out of Riddle. Um, but maybe by placing these boards, uh, that'll give us an opportunity to find more. Uh, also, uh, once we get to a, a denser, older foresty growth area, uh, maybe we'll find those elusive rubber boas. So uh, only time will tell once again. All right, so the uh, fourth board, correction, the fifth board. Yeah, the fifth board is now in place. And this one is kind of up off the road. It's much closer to uh, Cow Creek, which is right there. Um, I think, if I had to guess, I would say this will probably attract rattlesnakes. Because I know there's definitely a lot more rattlesnakes in this area the further out Cow Creek you go. So... I'm gonna take some branches and stuff and kind of cover the top of this a little bit. But we got trees up over it, so it should not be in direct sunlight. So, cool, on to the next one. All right, so here we have emplacement number six. Uh, board is labeled number three. And then look at this, look at the habitat around here. All right, I notice there's a lot of uh, rodent burrows in the ground. Uh, we got some blackberry patch over here. A lot of things going on here. A lot of rock outcroppings, fallen dead trees. Uh, I'll keep going. We're gonna go up there into the flat area up here. So this is board number three and placement number six. So we're just gonna kind of go up here in this flat area. Yeah, there's any, any possibility of stuff up here. King snakes, rattlesnakes, just about everything up here. Probably not rubber boa territory. But there is a lot of food source here with the rodents. Yeah, right there, that looks good, man. Excellent. All right. I can't wait to come back to this one. Okay, so the last two boards are gonna be fairly close together. We got one up here that we already put in and then we got another one about 50 meters away. Once again, some, some fantastic habitat. Um, you can see a lot of these trees were burnt by forest fires a couple years back, but they seem to be alive, seem to be doing well. There's a small creek right here. I don't know if this creek is active year round or not or if it's just part of the uh, all the rain we've had recently. But there's a lot of logs and stuff that are down, so I did make some attempt to kind of hide it a little bit. But nature will take its course. So board number two and placement number seven. One board left. If we got certain locations where we find consistently nothing under them, we can all relocate them. Absolutely. Yeah, only time will tell. That seems to be my catchphrase for the day. Only time, we'll Only time will tell. All right, last board. We're above the we're above the logging road here, and we got some once again some really good habitat, some some rock outcroppings, potential king snake territory, uh, definitely rattlesnake territory, northern Pacific rattlesnake. And placement number eight, board number one. All right, and we got, yeah, it's a good spot here, so it's not in direct sunlight, although some of it will be, but, you know, once again, here we go. 
All right, I know we didn't see any rattlesnakes or reptiles today of any kind, a little bit chilly, but uh, hopefully here in about a month and a half, when it starts getting warm and hot and every, everybody comes out for the duration of the springtime and summer, uh, we'll see some stuff underneath these boards. So that'll be cool. Hopefully it's some of the stuff we wanna see. But until then, we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment, I'll get back at you.